Nipple scheduling, first of all, is really planning. So you start with scheduling to put the material on in inventory. So from making the raw part, putting the nipples in Cleveland first and then distributing to our three distribution sites. You have to be very detail oriented. Um, you have to dive into the different areas in merit. Um, I get to communicate with all the different um, departments within merit. Purchasing, marketing, accounting, manufacturing, logistics, IT, everybody. I get to communicate with everyone. Day to day, we pull orders of pipe. We use the overhead crane, or sometimes we pull by hand, depending on the diameter. It ranges from 1 4th to 12 inch diameter. We pull stainless steel pipe, aluminum, and brass pipe. Well, here I'm in charge of the cutting department. Uh, it's where we cut the pipe down to the lifts, then it goes to the threading department. I'm also in charge of the packaging area, the stamping area, uh, the thread tape area, the thread sealing area, and the 48Cs. Oh, we run diameters brass and stainless steel, diameters from 1 8 inch all the way up to 2 inch. We run through those machines. I'm in five different departments throughout manufacturing. I run the special cell, which consists of cutting, threading, stamping, and packing all certain specials. And then I have the manufacturing manual threaders, the yes head department, and the bucket degreasing department. But the yes head department will run, um, we have five machines and they're grouped in two groups. So our small yes heads will run quarter inch from quarter by two up to quarter by six. And then every diameter after that, three eighths, half inch and three quarter, it'll go from a two inch length all the way up to a six, six being the max. So pretty much I uh, operate in special department, but you know, I I run the whole uh, manufacturing, you know, I'm, I'm trained in a whole of it besides CNC's. And uh, I start with like manual machines, you know, we do, uh, different diameters, you know, we thread, we square. We bend uh, quarter inch, we bend like 180 degree one uh, shape and uh, 90 degree. After that, you know, we have another bender uh, that it does 90 degree, but breast. I'm basically the wash guy. I uh, bring the buckets to the line and I run them through the washer. So I do all the cleaning for the material, the metal that we run. I does all the cleaning uh, for that. We uh, started out in 55-gallon drums, so and now uh, we used to use a uh, chemical to uh, clean it, like SP420 and number two. It's been uh, a lot uh, different with the different types of uh, cleaner to get what we need to clean our material with. So, you know, it's a great job, it's a great company, and I'm just still glad to be on board with them from all that time. I process cut blanks, stamped and threaded nipple parts under specifications of the manufacturing department. We go around and make sure that the pipe nipples are up to standards, the threads are good, the gauging are, is good. Quality means that we're assuring our customers good quality parts, and that's what the basis of our job is. Here in the packaging department, once everything clears our QI process, comes around and we dump them on the different tables. You might see 316 signs and 304 signs. That's how we separate the alloys. Once the parts are dumped, the packers will pick up and they will package the product according to whatever box dimensions is on our packaging chart. We also work on the thread tape fittings as well and the sealant process in the packaging department. Most of the time with specials, I have to pack them up in the same day they go out that same day or the, maybe the next day. And then someone from shipping will come and get it from that staging area and take them up there. Most of the time it might be just one piece. Somebody might just need just to see and for they can continuously order them. They just need a sample of them. Or sometimes it might be one big piece, a six by 12 or a six by 72. Customers order our nipples. They, they go to our shipping department and the person pulling the order goes and pulls all the parts that we need. And if it's a truck order, they'll put it in a big box on a pallet and they'll pack it right into that pallet box as they go. And then for the smaller parcel orders that will go out either FedEx or UPS, we'll pull those into totes and they'll get sent down a line and then they'll come to the packers and the packers will then recheck the order to make sure everything is right. When they do that, then they'll pack the order and they'll put it in a box 
and make sure that everything is where it needs to be so it doesn't get damaged in the way of shipping and we'll send that out to the customer. 